Welcome back everyone. In this video, we can discuss about a new method of minimization of given Boolean function. We can call it as the Quinn McCloskey method of minimization or in another way we can call it as the tabular method of minimization. So basically our KMAP method of simplification is convenient method of minimization for Boolean functions up to 5 variables. Okay, so, uh, that is, it is difficult to simplify the Boolean function having more than 5 variables using KMAPs. So, in that case, in such situations, we can prefer this queen mccloskey method of simplification. This particular tabular method, we can use this method for minimizing any of the given Boolean function. Means, Boolean function with any number of variables. Okay. Consider some example here you are given with a function f with set of main terms in that function like 0, 4, 5, 7, 8, 11, 12, 15. We need to minimize this particular given Boolean function. Here we are following the Quinn McCloskey method of minimization, right? For that, the first step is identify the binary representation corresponding to these main terms. 0 means 0, 0, 0, 0 for this one, 5, etc. So, based on this, the next step is generating group. Okay, generate a new table. That table contains different groups and the groups are formed based on number of ones present in the main terms. Okay, we need to form a new table based on the this particular one. In the new table, we need to get or we need to generate different groups and the groups are formed based on the number of ones present in the main terms. Right, so the first group that is group 0 means zero number of ones in the main terms. In group zero, we need to collect all the main terms with zero number of ones in it. So here only one such case exists. In main term zero, M0, all the A, B, C, D position with value zero. So in group zero, we have the main term zero, right? The next group is group one. This particular one indicate what set of main terms which contains only single one. So, what are the members of this group one? Four. Four in four, the binary representation of this four, only single one is present. Similarly, here in eight, only single one is present. So, four and eight comes under this group one. Similarly, group 2 means group of or set of main terms that contains two ones in it. 5, 2 ones are present, then 12, 2 ones are present here. So, these two comes in group 2. Next is group 3. Group 3, what is the meaning of this 3? Main terms in which 3 ones are present. What are the members of group 3? 7 and 11. In 7, 3 ones are present. In 11, 3 ones are present. Next is the last group, group 4. Means 4 ones are present only in min term 15. So, this is our new table which is derived based on this min terms. So, our next step or we need to generate a new table based on this. This newly derived table is the input to our next step. Okay. In our next stage, we need to generate another table in which we need to generate different groups. And in each group, we get different pairs of main terms. How to generate that matched pairs in this new, new group or new table? This is the condition 
for getting different matched pairs in our new table. What is that? Compare members of nth group of our previous table with n plus 1th group. Means group 0, we need to compare the members of group 0 with members of group 1. Similarly, we need to compare members of group 1 with group 2. Similarly, members of group 2, we need to compare with members of group 3. And finally, members of group 3, we need to compare with group 4. And marked as a matched pair in our new table if there exists mismatch only in one bit position. So, this is the condition. Compare nth group members with n plus 1th group members and include certain pairs in our new table as matched pairs if there exists mismatch only in one bit position. This is the condition for generating our new table entries. So, first, based on this condition, we can first uh, compare group 0 with group 1. So, this particular member we need to compare with this main term for the first member of group 1. Here, in this position, in this bit position, the corresponding values are the same. Here, it is 0. Here, it is 1. Here 0, 0, 0, 0. Only one position here exists mismatch. So this group 0 of group 0 with 4 of group 1 satisfied our condition. Okay. So we can enter this into our new table as this. In our group 0 of our new table, we can enter a matched pair. What are the members of our matched pairs? 0 with 4. We can enter this pair in our new table and enter the value like this. Here, there exists match. So, put the 0 directly here. Here exists the mismatch. So, simply put a dash here. And in the next two position, directly mark 0 here. Okay. So, this is the entry corresponding to our matched pair. Okay, so here exists a match. So, what we want to do first, we need to put tick for this matched pair 0 and 4. So, this particular comparison is over. Now, we can compare 0 with the next member of group 1, 8. Here, in this position, there exists mismatch. Here it is 0 and here it is 1. In all the three position with the same value 0. Again satisfied our condition of matched pair. So we can enter a new entry to our group 0 here. What is it? The matched pair 0 with 8. 0 with 8. And we need to enter here exist mismatch. So put a dash here then 0 0 0. Okay, so the first group comparison, group 0 with group 1 comparison is completed here and here exists a match with 0 and 8. Here already put a tick. So now we want to put a tick here because this is all entered, in a, entered as a matched pair in our new table. Now we can continue the same with group 1 and group 2. Okay. So, group 1, first member is 4. So, compare 4 with 5. Here, in this position, only there exists mismatch. All the three other position with match. So, again, satisfied the condition. So, enter an input as matched pair 4, of 4 and 5 here with 0, 1, 0 with dash. Next, 4 with 12. Put a tick mark here, then compare 4 with 12. Here, what is the situation? In this position, there exists mismatch. Right? So, 
in all other uh, three location match exist so again satisfy the condition for this matched pair so we need to enter this 412 in our new table with dash 100 as the entries here and here exist match with 4 and 12 4 is already marked with tick so again here we need to put a tick for 12 now okay so the comparison with 4 is over now so we need to repeat the same with 8 and 5 the second member of group 1 with different members of group 2 8 and 5 what's the situation three different location with mismatch exist so this one violate the condition for our matched pairs so simply discard this case and repeat with 8 and 12 so here what is the case in this particular location there exists mismatch and the three location with match so satisfy the condition for matched pairs and include an entry 8 12 here 8 is already put with tick and 12 is already marked with tick so we don't want to put tick again okay now the comparison of group 1 with group 2 is over next comparison is with group 2 with 3 right so what we want to do for that first want to compare first member of group 2 with first member of group 3 that is 5 with 7 so what is the case here only this particular location there exist mismatch so satisfy the condition so enter an entry in the matched pair 5 with 7 and re like 0 1 dash 1 okay this 5 is already put with tick so we need to tick here also okay next is 5 with 11 okay in this case 5 with 11 in this location there exist mismatch here also exist mismatch means more than one location with position contains mismatch so discard that case and continue with 12 and 7 here what is the situation here mismatch here match here mismatch here mismatch that means more than one location with mismatch simply discard that comparison next 12 with 11 match mismatch 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 more than one location with mismatch simply discard so the comparison of group 2 members with group 3 is over so continue with group 3 with group 4 that is 7 with 15 first comparing 7 with 15 here in this particular location only mismatch exists satisfied the condition for matched pairs so enter an entry like this in the table group uh, matched pair 715 with dash 111 here only mismatch exists for that particular location put a dash here and the remaining location the same value 111 next comparison is with sorry here exists match with 7 and 15 so 7 is already with tick mark we can put tick for the 15 now next comparison is with 11 and 15 match here exists mismatch and the remaining two location match so what to do enter an entry 11 to 15 in the match pair okay with entry like thus okay so now the entire comparison with different groups is over now and this one is our newly generated table with different match pair groups so this is not the end of our procedure now we want to repeat the same procedure using this particular table. Okay, before that, just keep this point in your mind. Here, all the group entries, all the mean terms are now with tick mark. Right? All the mean terms are here with 
tick mark okay now we need to repeat the same using the newly generated table okay so this is the generated table so using this we need to repeat the same we need to identify matched pairs okay so first group 0 member with group 1 member that is this 0 4 with 4 5 is there exist any match or mismatch here it is 0 here it is 0 match here it is dash here it is 1 mismatch here it is 0 here it is 0 match here it is 0 here it is dash mismatch means more than one location with mismatch right so we don't want to enter that group into this new table so stop that comparison and repeat with next member 08 with sorry 04 with 4 and 12 of group member 1 so here what's the case no match 0 dash mismatch dash 1 again mismatch that means more than one location with mismatch simply discard that comparison next 0 4 with 8 and 12 next case here mismatch here dash here dash is a match here 0 0 match 0 0 match only this particular location with a mismatch only one position with bit position with mismatch so satisfy the condition for match pairs so we can enter a new entry in our table with group 0 because this is the comparison of group 0 with group 1 so group 0 of new table contain an entry 0 4 with 8 12 and the corresponding entry is put a dash for this mismatch location this dash is already present there then the value as it is entered here 0 0 okay so comparison with 0 4 is over next is and also put tick for this matched pairs 0 4 and 8 12 next is the comparison with 0 8 with 4 5 more than one location with mismatch simply discard that comparison and repeat with next dash dash 0 1 mismatch here 0 0 0 0 mismatch sorry mismatch only in one particular location so enter that into our new table with 0 8 and 4 12 as the matched pairs and the entry is dash is already present here in this mismatch location 0 and 1 put a dash now here in this corresponding to b and 0 0 as it is represented here okay so in our remaining cases no match you can't find any match further in our next comparison so this is the final case okay the next stage is or next step is after getting all such groups now we have no further group for repeating the comparison so we can stop here and we can identify the expression corresponding to these terms the okay now we can identify the different expression corresponding to these terms for this what is the uh, expression corresponding to this group entries a and B is absent here, C with value 0 and D with value 0. The expression corresponding to this is C complement, D complement. And move back to the previous table. Here, these two entries are already put with tick mark. These two entries also with tick mark. And our task is to identify the expression corresponding to those terms or those matched pairs with no tick marks. The matched pairs with no tick marks are actually needed for getting our minimized expression. Okay, so discard all such pairs with tick mark and concentrate over these pairs with no tick marks and identify the corresponding expression. Here the expression is A complement B, C complement D is absent. And here we have tick mark. So simply discard these two cases. Next one, this one. A complement B, C is absent, D. 
like this. Here also tick mark is absent. So generate the expression corresponding to this pair B, C, D. A is absent. Here also tick mark absent. So generate the expression corresponding to this pair A, C, D. B is absent. We have already seen the previous table for this one. The table which is which generate this particular table in that table the, all the entries we have generated tick mark so we don't want to consider that table now okay so based on this expression our next task is to generate a table the table is like this mark this expression like this and put all the min terms in our question like this okay in c dash d dash what are the min terms present 0 4 8 12 0 4 8 and 12 so put cross mark on these min terms 0 4 8 12 corresponding to the expression c dash d dash corresponding to this a dash b c dash Put a cross mark for min terms 4 and 5. Okay. Next for this A dash B D. Put cross mark corresponding to 5 and 7. 5 and 7. And for B C D. Put cross mark for 7 and 15. 7 and 15. Next is for A C D. Put cross mark for 11 and 15. 11 and 15. So, this is the generated table with the expressions and min terms. The next task is identify the columns with only single cross mark is present. In this column, only single cross is present. Here, two crosses present. We need to identify all the column with single cross. Here, only single cross in this column. Here, only single cross in this column. Here also and here also. Okay. We can circle all such cross first. Like this. So, corresponding to this uh, circle, we can put a horizontal line here. This line will come in touch with this cross, this and this. So, this particular line pointing to this expression so we need to enter into our minimized form okay and also from this check all the cells present in this column here we have no other entries and based on this here we have one more entry in this column so this one cover this particular expression c dash t dash also cover this one okay Next, corresponding to this, no entries are present here and corresponding to this, no entries are present here. So, the case based on this particular line is over. Next, based on this circle, we can draw a horizontal line through this. Okay, this will come in uh, touch with this cross also. And this pointing to the expression ACT. This is also an essential prime implicant we need to enter into our minimized form. Okay, this one actually comes in touch with this cross. This cross present in this particular column. In this column, here we have one more entry which is also covered by this one. Okay, but the case is. The case here it is. Here we have four more crosses which are not yet covered by any of the horizontal line. But we need to cover all the cross values. That is our requirement. Okay. So, which among these three is the best choice for covering all the four values or all the four cross values? Try with this one that is a dash b and d put a horizontal line here and this will directly cover these two and in this column this cross is present so this one will automatically cover this and this will automatically cover this also 
now all the values are covered okay so this one also we can include in our minimized form okay so these are the primary implicants present in our minimized form of our given expression okay now we can check is this answer is match with the camap simplification so this is the camap simplification of the same given function okay so while simplifying we get the expression like this the exactly the same answer of quinn mccloskey method of simplification okay thank you